Hello, family of Earth and the stars, sending you all so much love and beaming you beautiful platinum rays of healing. And thank you all so much for tuning in to this message, tuning in to my consciousness space, and for all of your love and support on this journey. Uh, the other day, I posted a meme that was titled Emergency Broadcast, and I wanted to shed a different light and perspective on all of the collective fear that is being broadcasted out into the collective consciousness around the October 4th date, okay? So a lot of people emailed me. I think I got maybe a hundred messages asking me, you know, my opinion and if I could elaborate more on this date. Um, so it was easier for me to just do a video just sharing my perspective and my wisdom around what is taking place on planet Earth right now. Um, I'll discuss a little bit about the October 4th date, but I wanna really just talk about the fact that humanity is in a frequency war, okay? So many of you, many of you already know that every single thing in this universe is energy, frequency and vibration okay we are electrical beings of light and sound and every single thing has a frequency so the negatives have figured out how to manipulate sound and light and frequency to keep the inhabitants on planet earth within a very low dimension which we could we could call bandwidth a low frequency, a low harmonic. You think of in the in the terms of music, or the music scale, right? So these negative beings have been doing this for millions and millions of years. This is not a new thing, okay? So particularly in our universal time matrix, okay, where the humans are from, the angelic Christos human race, there was a war in the timeline back when the first root race was seeded. Okay, the Hyperboreans. This is called the Electric Wars timeline. This was millions of years ago. I believe it was five million years ago when the Orion groups, the negative alien agenda, okay, the negative factions, the negative beings, the evil, you know, monsters, whatever we want to call them, they are in polarity. They are the Antichrist forces, okay, in this universe. So there's the Christ forces and the Antichrist forces. So the Antichrist forces, they brought, um, this was in the electric timeline war. This was when the AI became new inside of our time matrix, our universal time matrix. Okay, so AI is very ancient. It's the biggest threat in the universe because it's completely opposite to organic creation, right? So we are God technology. So organic creation, right, is organic God technology, but artificial creation is artificial, man-made, manipulated technology. Okay, so during this end times battle, during this, you know, purification, reclamation, tribulation, end of the cycle, um, we are in a spiritual war. We are in a frequency war. And it's all about controlling the frequency on the planet. So that way these negative invaders can continue to control this planet and live on this planet, okay? Because their frequency is low, okay? They need a third dimensional um, low harmonic to be able to exist within because they have given up their ability to organically ascend. So they have merged themselves with these lower frequencies. They've merged themselves with these AI signals, okay? So I know for some of you who are new at this, this might sound very alien, very sci-fi, um, this, when I woke up to this information about 13, 14 years ago, <laughs> I had this remembrance of like our root races and the timelines. I started to actually remember my past life timelines and tap into my stations of identity. I was mind blown by this. I was like, what? This is crazy, but it's, it's just what it is. <laughs> so, um, so basically what I'm trying to say here is that we have been living in 
artificial frequencies. We've been living in an inverted reality. Everything has been an inversion here in this, in this dimension. Okay, so they're using manipulated low sound frequencies, you know, elf waves, radio waves, directed energy weapons, you know, microwave frequencies, mind control weaponry to manipulate humanity and trying to keep our vibrational frequency low so that we cannot embody the incoming plasma, high frequency photonic light that is coming onto the planet. So it's a frequency war. So organically, we're ascending, okay? We're spiraling, we're oscillating, we're upgrading our electrical circuiting system of our DNA, of our God technology in our body. And simultaneous to that, right? Because everything is duality and polarity. Simultaneous to that, the negative agenda is using their artificial frequencies, their artificial technology to try to offset the organic ascension. So. October 4th, let's talk about that for a minute. Um, my message was to shift the perspective. I'm not saying don't prepare, don't, don't shut off your phone. Definitely take precautionary measures, but don't do it in fear. But why not? Let's just look at it like this. Why not unplug for the entire day? Wouldn't that be amazing if all the awakening souls unplugged from technology for a full day and spent time in nature and spent time with their children and their pets and listening to 528 Hertz. I know somebody asked me, well, how can I listen to 528 Hertz if my phone is unplugged? I use an ethernet cable and I, I'm not worried about the frequencies because I have so many tools that I use to help offset those frequencies. But what if we just all went in nature? And on that day, we all beamed our consciousness with the intention to beam massive amounts of light on this planet. We all focused our consciousness, consciousness and attention at the same time on that day. Can you imagine how powerful that would be? We are quantum. We are God technology. We are powerful. We have the ability, the ability to shift this planet just by our intention alone. So let's unplug for the day on October 4th. Let's all unplug. Let's be in nature. Let's pray. Let's meditate. Let's connect to breath. And let's do a collective meditation where we're beaming our intentions and our thoughts and our consciousness and our desires on eradicating the AI signals with our light. Okay? We do not consent. And when we say that with conviction, I do not consent. I do not comply right? I am the light. We are going to be able to eradicate those AI signals. So when you're vibrating at a low frequency, fear is a low frequency. Anger is a low frequency. Grief, okay? All of the things that made us human for so long were vibrating in a very low frequency, very, very low on the frequency scale. So now during this time of ascension, we are learning to tap into our natural state of joy and bliss and love and compassion and peace and fun and play, tapping into our inner child and tapping into the frequency of joy, to the frequency of God's source, to the frequency of light and benevolence and love, being fearless in that. I'm not saying, you know, this cannot be bypassed. There's, there's no bypassing in this final this final battle for the timelines, okay? This is an ancient war that the humanity is in the middle of. Whether some of the starseed community and spiritual community wants to talk about it or not, it needs to be talked about because that's what is happening right now. And so we need to just understand so we can stay aware, we can stay vigilant, and we can practice the tools and understand the tools that we need to use to vibrate our frequency out of this fallen phantom matrix that we've been existing in for thousands and thousands of years, okay? So it's all about frequency. If you're vibrating in a low frequency in fear, then you're gonna be a match to their low vibrating radio wave AI signals. But if you're vibrating in love and light and peace and compassion and kindness and all the beautiful things and expanding your heart chakra to love Really, just love and kindness without judgment. We need to stop judging. Everyone's on their own journey, okay? We are going to be able to elevate ourselves above the AI signal, okay? So 
it's kind of simple even though it really isn't but so i don't want anybody to fear we are in the pinnacle of the spiritual warfare on planet earth okay there's no denying that they're going to try to push forth their smart cities they're going to try to push forth you know the 5g the 6g the 10g whatever the heck they're talking about they're trying to create and terraform planet earth which they've been doing already for a long time if, i mean there's a freaking camera on every street lamp they're trying to terraform this planet for ai because they have merged with ai most of these beings are actually half ai and half human which is called transhumanism and their agenda is transhumanism okay i'm going to get more into these topics on my youtube channel but i wanted to just clear that up here because i did get a lot of questions i've been very busy i do have a healing practice um, if anybody wants to talk more with me about anything, I offer a one-on-one, -on -one, one hour Q&A session on Zoom. We can get a lot covered. I am yours for an hour. You can ask me any questions you want about our spiritual awakening, about ascension, about galactic history, and I will share all of my wisdom with you, okay? I try my best to give as much information as I can away. Um, I have my Cosmic Classroom YouTube channel where I just started doing um, a lot of teachings, Ascension teachings. Um, I have a, a free newsletter that I would love for everybody watching this to sign up for. And I will give you exclusivity on like Cosmic Updates, um, master classes and things you know, that I'm offering, but mostly most important wisdom teachings. That is so important that humanity knows right now. We need to know the truth. And I am a speaker of truth, okay? I come from a place of, of, of love, of non-judgment to everybody's journey, but I am a polarity integrator, okay? And I'm here to shed the light on the darkness because we have to know the darkness. We just have to, we have to know the truth of what's happening on this planet. So if you would like to book with me, um, I would love to have a session with you. Um, go to my website, soulharmonics.org, and you can check out my offerings if you feel called. Definitely sign up for my newsletter and my YouTube channel, okay? And I do my absolute best to be accommodating for everyone. Um, I am here for you. I am truly a servant of God and a spiritual steward for humanity for these times. And so I just want you all to know that I love you very much and I'm your sister here and I'm here to support you in any way that I can. Um, and so I hope this message was very helpful to you guys. Um, and gals, star seeds, earth seeds, all my beautiful family across the earth. And um, any questions, let me know. Stay out of fear. I love you all. Mwah.